Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crazy here, and welcome back to another movie review. In today's movie review, I'm going to be doing a Happy Madison movie review on the 2008 comedy film from Happy Madison Productions, and that's going to be on The House Bunny. The House Bunny is directed by Fred Wolf and stars Anna Faris, Emma Stone, Colin Hanks, and yeah, among others, so... So basically, the story of the House Bunny is is basically about it's about a girl named Shelley Darlington who who has lived lived a life at a, a luxury a luxury mansion. Disaster strikes, however, when 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 Shelley turns twenty seven years old and is deemed as as too old to be a bunny. And kicked out into the real world, the girl ambles onto onto a onto a college campus and tries to join a sorority. Finding a sorority made made up of geeky awkward girls like Zeta, Alpha, and Zeta. Shelly te te teaches them the, the art of attracting boys a a as only a playboy bunny can. And of course, we got a little bit of crazy shenanigans that happened at, at a couple scenes. Like, there is a little bit of slapstick humor here and there, but but this movie did have some pretty funny scenes. Like, like, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so what I... When when I first remember when I first remember seeing seeing seen parts of this movie like I I well, to be honest guys I I've actually watched I've actually seen some TV commercials and trailers for this movie back when I was a kid back when this this movie came out on August twenty second of two thousand eight I think it was before that so like so this this movie actually came out around the time when I when I was still eight years old but right that right before I turned nine years old. So technically, I was eight going on nine years old when the House Bunny came out. But one one funny part I actually kind of laughed at was, was actually the one I remember seeing in TV commercials where 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 Shelly where Shelly was looking through looking through like a Zeta building and then the and the and one of the letters in the Zeta sign like the letter Z falls on her head like and then, and then she falls down into into like the bushes. <laughs> I, I think I think that part was pretty funny. Because there is a little bit of like funny scenes here and there, and plus, and plus, this this is this is also a Happy Madison production as well, since Happy Madison actually made this movie, and this is actually one of the rare times where where they where where it features like a different a different fanfare than the usual one, and and of course instead of instead of Stan, Stanley Sandler the logo saying oh boy he says the usual terrific, the same thing the same thing happened with Strange Wilderness, and. But yeah, so even though Adam Sandler's not in the film, he he actually produced it. Like he he actually he actually worked on the film as as a producer along with Alan Covert. And and the humor itself, I thought was pretty funny at some parts because this movie kind of almost felt felt like a Happy Madison chick flick of some sort, since it mainly focuses on the girl characters and how yeah. And I, and I gotta say, the performances I thought were pretty good. I I thought Anna Faris actually did pretty good as Shelley. Like, cause I always like Anna Faris. I think Anna Anna Faris is a pretty actress, and she was she was even born in Baltimore, Maryland, and that's technically where I live, cause that cause, I, cause I'm like right outside the Baltimore area, like you guys get it. Emma Stone, I I thought did great in the film too, and Colin Hanks, Colin Hanks actually did good in the film too, playing Oliver in this film, and Emma Stone is Natalie, and cause Natalie's pretty is pretty much the other girl who that 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 Shelly that Shelly teams up with to help her out. And as for the other people who are in this film, Kat Dennings, Kat Dennings, I was also in this film too. I, I thought she did a pretty good job in the film, because pretty much the performances I thought worked well, and and it was just like a, a pretty good funny movie from from Happy Madison. And like I said, it did have some so a little bit of a little bit of funny scenes, like when the letter Z falls on Shelley's head, like like I said, and yeah, like I said, it's pretty funny to me. And I also I also think it had a, pre a pretty good soundtrack too because they actually featured that one song called "Like a Virgin," like 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 a version that was played at some point during this movie. Because and I think "Like a Virgin" I think is I think is a good song to me. And yeah, the best way I can describe the House Bunny is just a it's just like a, a funny a, like a good funny movie from two thousand eight from Happy Madison. Yeah. And, and plus, I also watched this movie on HBO Max as well. I actually watched it last month in, in April on HBO Max. 
So aside from all that, overall, The House Bunny was a, a pretty good movie from 2008. And I'm going to give The House Bunny three and a half out of five stars. If you haven't watched, if you haven't seen The House Bunny, then I say I recommend it. Maybe it's also worth a rewatch too if you've seen this movie before. And yeah, and, and if you like Anna Faris along with, along with like, you know, Hattie Madison's other work like me, then I recommend checking out The House Bunny if, if you're interested in, in checking it out. And there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on The House Bunny. And that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. 8 Crizzy saying... Ooh, excuse me. Let me phrase that. This is Mr. 8 Crizzy saying... Goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.